Welcome to another episode of Lunch with RJ. Today we are reviewing El Jarito in Yakinville, North Carolina. Let's get right into it. First up, we are trying a beef chimichanga. That's hot on the bottom. Let's see if I can get some. Hold on a second. Reusable spoon. This first bite's for you. Now that is delicious. Let me go in with another bite here. With the rice and beans. Mmm. That's delicious. I get that an 8 out of 10. The beef. Nicely seasoned. The cheese dip is a little salty, but it fits well with everything else going on in here. Beans flavored well. The seasoned rice is absolutely delicious. Every piece of this dish is seasoned well. One more bite. That is so delicious. I'm gonna move on. Next, we're going in with the Burrito California. It looks like there is a bunch of cheese sauce covering it. Pico de gallo on top, some cilantro. First bite. That's delicious. Let's get another bite. Check that out with the cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. The chicken is grilled, seasoned perfectly. I taste cumin, I taste salt, pepper, garlic. There's some onion in there. Absolutely delicious. The pico de gallo on top, as it gives it a little bit of texture. Cilantro on top, cuts through all of that fattiness and all that goodness right there. Gives it a nice little, mm, mm, look at that bite right there. Oh yeah. I guess a 9 out of 10. Mm, I'm going to move on. To drink guava jaritos. Let's try this. It's not a twist top. Oh, no. Ooh, I always keep my multi-tool. There we go. Lord, I can't even get them to drink. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. First sip. Oh, that's different. Oh, that's different. Hold on. Guava? That's what you taste like? I give that a eight out of 10. That's delicious. This is the Speedy Gonzalez. It is one beef enchilada and one beef taco. I think let's go in with the enchilada first. Let's go ahead. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. The cheesiness combined with the robustness of that enchilada sauce, absolutely delicious. Now, I will say the texture of the enchilada, it's like really soft. But with everything else, plus the texture of the rice, too, that's good. I ain't mad at you. I need another bite. Hold on. One last one. That's a hit. I don't think I mentioned earlier. This right here was $4.59. All that food for $4.59. I can't beat it. Let's go right in with this taco, too. It's supposed to be a hard shell taco. It's got a little soggy right there just from being in the juices. It's all right. It's exactly like what it is. Is the meat still seasoned? Yes. But with the soggy in it, it's not for me. I'm gonna move on. Another sip. I could get used to that. Lastly, we are trying chilequiles mexicanos. Tortilla chips and chicken cooked with their special sauce. There is a lot going on with this one. I've never even heard of a chilequiles before, but apparently it's popular. Let's check that out. Let's got some heat. I'm at it. There's no robustness like there was with the enchilada sauce. I will give a side note and say that this has kind of been sitting for a little bit. At this point, the chips have gotten a little soggy. So for me, I'm gonna have to give it a five out of 10. The flavor, mm, it's lacking. Overall, I give El Jaritos a seven out of 10. I gotta get back to work, but I appreciate you coming out. Be kind to yourself. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.